Hello everybody, Car Dreamer here, coming at you on behalf of D-Class and all things D-Class related. And today, I'm bringing you a long overdue discussion in regards to Super Mario Brothers' 35th anniversary. Um, so the delay is actually a twofold reason. One, I legitimately actually wanted to wait till uh, the event had kind of passed and died down. Just because I was, I, I didn't want to make my point in the fervor of it all, the fever of it all. Um, and to be fair, the second part, I was just a little lazy and procrastinating and uh, working on other stuff. My work schedule has been kind of crazy. So by the time I get back, <laughs> as I've said in other videos, it's like I just got a lot going on. Anyway, so thank you to and welcome to another discussion. Let's get into it. So Mario 35th anniversary came and went to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. And I don't know about the rest of you, but, you know, actually I'll get to that in a second. So they had several different announcements. They did the Game & Watch style game where you can play the Super Mario Brothers. Um, they did the Mario Kart with the remote control car with the camera. They did arguably the most important thing, uh, two things. They also did um, Super Mario 3D Land, plus they're having a new expansion come out for it, but it's a port. The, the expansion's new, but the base, base game is a port of the Wii U game. And then they announced Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Switch, which is a port of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and 64, uh, geez, uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Three great games, don't get me wrong. And this is something a lot of people have been wanting. Having said all that, I feel this was a very underwhelming event. I don't think the things that they announced were bad. At, by any means, although I do find the gar the go kart thing or the Mario Kart to be a little more gimmicky, um, I mean, it's great that it's a Mario Kart, but if the track is meant to look like your home, unless you're going to really sit there and do it all up, then it's I don't know. It's a neat concept, but it's gimmicky. Like after a couple of times, I feel like the novelty wears off, and I rather play the other. Mario Karts for the variations in tracks. Uh, on the other hand, and pl well, plus I can't imagine that multiplayer is really going to do anything unless someone else has the Luigi car. And then even then it's only two players. So it's kind of like, eh. Not that they can't add more cars to it, I guess, suppose. Which might be interesting if you're going to go collect them all type of thing. Game & Watch is neat for the nostalgia purpose. I, I'm not going to knock that. It's not personally my thing, but I definitely don't knock it. Super Mario 3D Land, I'm actually kind of happy about because I don't get to play the Wii U very much. And, it, it, and plus, the new expansion is just all the more reason to finally get to the game. I do own it. So I'm happy about that. And I am happy about the ports, the, the Super Mario 3D All Stars, the, the, the big, quote unquote, the big part of the whole 35th anniversary. But when you look at everything, I mean, really look at what they've done. Aside from the Mario Kart, to celebrate 35 years of Super Mario, the biggest thing you did was give us ports. Really no effort went into this. And that's a shame, because Mario... I understand the state of the world right now with the pandemic and all has affected a lot of things. Don't get me wrong, and I do... They get a little bit of slack for that, but I'm not giving a full free pass. And the reason being, 35 years for Super uh, anniversary of Super Mario Brothers is a huge deal. Even if you're not a gamer, you know who Super Mario is. This is some. This, this is a property that's literally built Nintendo, and not just Nintendo. 
it's the groundwork for every successful game that has come since company and uh, game company like Microsoft, Sony to the independent. I mean, to all the companies out there that publish games, you owe every, your success to Mario in some part. If you think about Nintendo back when they started, I mean, they were a toy company originally. The video game industry was on a decline. It was going out. It, it needed desperate saving. And Nintendo came along with the NES, with the Nintendo Entertainment System. It revolutionized video gaming. It saved the industry. It completely revolutionized it. Before you knew it, Nintendo was a monopoly just about in the industry. And it, it they built it on Mario, retconning uh, Jumpman from Donkey Kong to be Mario. So now you got Donkey Kong, you got Mario, then they built Zelda. I mean, but everything started with Mario. Regardless of what may or may not be your favorite franchise, you may not even like Mario, you can't argue that Mario did not save Nintendo. And because of Nintendo's success, by the time you got into... The Super Nintendo, and then you had a rivalry with Genesis. Then you had other companies getting it in the industry. Whether they were successful or not, yes, there are varying degrees, but you have people who now look back finally, like Turbo Graphics, the Jaguar, Sega CD, Dreamcast, which I know is another Sega thing. Um, then you get into, you know, X Microsoft came out with the original Xbox, man, PlayStation. These things came along to get in on the market, a market that was there thanks to Nintendo. So this character, this game, is an incredible importance to pop culture and the video game industry. He, in my opinion, 35 years is something, if you're going to celebrate 35 years, you own more than a few ports. I'm sorry. This, this franchise, and I love Mario growing up. I really did, and I do. I still haven't played Odyssey. There's a few games I really haven't played, but I haven't play, even played Galaxy, actually. Or, uh, yeah, I haven't played Galaxy, Odyssey, Galaxy 2. I'm behind. But that isn't because I don't love Mario. I just got so many games. Like I said, everything they announced is great. I love. I, I like having these ports. I'm glad I bought the ports. I have the other uh, Super Mario 3D Land pre-ordered. So it's not that they were bad. But I feel feel like out of respect to the franchise, out of respect to your own company, out of respect to your fan base, you owe more than a few ports. That took, I'm sorry, very minimum effort. At the very least, I, I don't know, give us a remake of the original Super Mario Brothers using Super Mario or new Super Mario Brother graphics. Don't don't include the gameplay. Or maybe you could actually you could. You can do two modes where it's it maintains the original gameplay, just with the graphical update, or you can introduce a new Super Mario Brother gra uh, type of gameplay into the level design. That would be freaking awesome. It would give us something new, but something to be nostalgic about as well. It would make you think back, oh, this used to be like this. Oh, look what they've done. Kind of like they did with Super Mario R All Stars on the Super Nintendo. And maybe they're thinking, well, we gave you a graphical update. That's all you need. But this was 35 years. That's up it. You you went and did it with Link's Awakening. Which, it took a while for those graphics to kind of grow on me. I, I can appreciate what they did, but I still appreciate the original more. Um, but it's neither here nor there. I, at the very least, I feel like that was, was due. Or maybe the announcement of the all-new Super Mario Brothers game coming. Get back to the tradition of the platform. I feel like Super Mario 3D Lands and the new Super Mario Brothers games are lacking what made Super Mario Brothers 1 through 4 so good. There, there's something missing. They're not quite the same. It's not that they're bad, and I get it. They're new Super Mario Brothers because it's a new generation of people playing them. But it is a franchise that has a longevity that reaches back, again, to the founding of the company. It's constantly people reliving their memories and sharing them with their kids who then get their own Mario and share with their kids. I get that. Play into it. Do something with it. I didn't want to make this video discussion during the time of the announcement, right when it was hot, 
before All Stars came out because people were so riveted. See, we'll see. People seemed like so hope up in arm, happy. Like, oh my gosh, we're getting 3D All Stars. This is the best. This is great. And I get it. It's something a lot of people wanted for a long time. And I get and I get being excited for getting something that you want. But the why you're getting it and when you're getting it needs to be looked at. And I feel like they use that as, as an excuse to do the bare minimum to keep people happy. And people just kind of laughed it up and were like, yay, no. People. At least try to expect more out of companies and the things you support. This is your money. They're nothing without your money. So expect a little more. I'm not saying don't be happy. And yes, you're going to. And I'm not saying don't pre-order. Like I said, I pre-ordered too. I got these games. But at least express something. Express some thoughts other than, yay, this is great. Nintendo's the best. No. I mean, yes, they're good, but do something more for this character that built your company. Do something more that built a fan base, that built generations of bonding over these uh, this property. And that's really what it is. Mario and Nintendo do something with games, regardless of whether you like the Switch or not. They whether you like certain properties or not, Nintendo does something that other systems can't claim. You have a generational connection with Mario, even with Zelda, Kirby, Donkey Kong. They're bringing generations together where everybody knows these characters can sit down and play and enjoy something because the developers aren't dumb. They don't just make the new game with no reference to the old stuff. They always make references to the old stuff. And then the older players go like, "Ah, I remember this. This was from this or this." And there's something to talk about. But you, what do you have on Xbox you're going to do that with? Nothing. Halo's a great franchise. Gears of War is a great franchise. But there's not a multi-generational bonding over that. No one's going to be like, oh, "I remember when I killed that locust." Yup, that chainsaw red. Now you got youngins got like three chainsaws on your gun. Back in my day, we had one. I mean, you ain't doing all that. You're not doing all that. But Mario has such a diverse game history that there's something for everyone to bond over. And that's important. Nintendo should have played with it. Nintendo should have respected that, in my opinion, and done more than gave you ports. And you guys should have expected more and and wanted more. I'm not saying be demanding jerks. Because they gave something. And again, I do understand the state of the world right now. Might be making it hard to do some development. I, I get that. But at the same time, you know when a 35 anniversary is coming along. Maybe you had no, they had no intentions of celebrating it at the time. And with the way things would go, they slowed down. They thought, hey, well, you know, what are we going to do to keep people happy or keep people, uh, you know... They're going to look out for the business, of course. And what are we going to do to keep the business going? What are we going to do for fans? Hey, we got this event coming over. People have been wanting this. Why don't we do this? It's easy. We can fit it into the low, uh, the cut down production time that we have. Maybe this, this is all things I'm not dumb and I can keep and I can keep in the back of my head. And 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 if that's the case, then so be it. I mean, but that doesn't mean I don't. I should just be happy with and with anything and everything they do and never question either. It's 35th anniversary. Really celebrate because it's not just Mario. If this was Zelda or Metroid, fine. This is all you were gonna do with ports of the 3D Zeldas or all you got I for an anniversary? Okay, it didn't build your company. Zelda's a close second, yes, but it didn't. Your company is not 100% started with that. Mario is. Mario is huge. So, I, I guess I just, I would love to hear what other people really have to say when now in hindsight and retrospect. Do you really feel like you got, you celebrated something with the 35th anniversary? Are you, do you really feel like this was something that, you can take pride or or you got something you like, you're happy and you moved on. Cause I kind of feel like that's my position right now. I bought it. I'm happy. I have it. And I moved on, but I don't feel like I partook in any kind of celebration. I don't feel like, man, I, I got this Mario thing and I'm so happy. And I'm, I, and I know some people streamed it. So I guess in that way they're sharing with friends, but 
Come on. Even a collector's edition would have been nice. And then, on top of this, that's great that they, they come up with this port, but it's a limited run. It's a limited run. And not just physically. Digitally. It's limited time. Why? Same with the original Super Mario All-Stars. They put it up on the Super Nintendo um, uh, online game list of games for to be playable on Switch. For limited time. Why? If there are things people want, and you know Mario is bankable always, you know these reports people wanted, why are you making a limited run? And I'm going to give you my opinion on why. They're treating this like a, the, the mini systems that they released. This is their way. They, they can't produce mini systems right now. Producing a mini, a mini system with the power to run those games wouldn't have been really, I guess, economical or feasible to them at this point in the game. So they went this route. But to them, this is like a mini system, and those were always limited run. They're they're creating a false demand for these things. Like I shouldn't say it's false because people do want them, but they're they're making people panic buy them. How many people jumped on it because it's oh it's it's limited time. I better get it before it's no longer there. Why would you do that on the such easy thing? It's an easy thing, Nintendo. All right. So. I, this isn't a long discussion, but there are points that I really wanted to bring up, and there are things that I really felt people should think about. Next time Nintendo announces these type of things, question it. Question Nintendo. Hey, is this really all you're doing? I'm not saying don't buy it. Like I said, I've already covered that. Like I said, I thought for the most part what they did were cool items. I, I pre-ordered the two Switch games. I'm happy with that they came out, but again, they didn't feel like a celebration because you're giving me ports. You're not even giving me ports of what you're celebrating, was, which was technically the first Super Mario Brothers. So, which I get. I mean, they're already on the Nintendo uh, online list of games to play. I, I get that they're already there. I just feel like you there's some missed opportunity here, Nintendo, and you you, you kind of dropped the big ball here. But anyway, I really would like to hear what other people say. I I know I'm I'm not the majority. I don't know the minority. Maybe it's split fifty fifty. I don't know. But I would love to hear what people have to say and what they think now that you've had now that people have had time to really think about it. But uh, thank you all for listening. I'm Car Dreamer, and this is D Class. And until next time, everybody. Stay evil.